Vatican City is an independent city-state located on the west bank of the Tiber River within Rome, Italy. It is the smallest country in the world, and it is considered an independent city-state. It is two-tenths of a mile in area and home to approximately 800 people. Vatican City is the home to the Pope and is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church. It was also designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. This was our first official itinerary day of our tour, and our first stop was the Vatican Museum. It is a noisy one outside the walls of the Vatican, getting ready to go on our second tour day here. There's a couple key points I want to make. Number one, entry to the Vatican Museum is on the north side of Vatican City. You can't enter the museum from St. Peter's Square, and it's quite a ways away. Uh, reservation without reservation. The line starts here, people, if you don't have a reservation. This is why it pays to be with a tour group here. It is highly advised to purchase these tickets to the museum in advance. As we approach the museum, the left side of this line is for folks without a reservation. Long, long lines. I would not recommend doing anything in Rome without a reservation if you come in the summer months. This Vatican Museum is visited by approximately 6 million people a year. Advanced tickets can be found online for $17, but be aware there's many look-alike websites and there's a lot of tour companies trying to give you a local guide through the museum. You can tour it on your own. And I believe Rick Steves has an audio tour that you can use to take along as you walk through. Entry to the area was a bit confusing and there were so many people. But I was on a guided tour, so I just followed along. Allora, who is the boss? Who is the group leader? The teacher here. When you first enter, you go through security like TSA at the airport, and your bags go through a metal detector. After that, we kind of waited in this general area, used the restroom, and waited for our tour guide to pick up our individual entry tickets. Please note that there is a dress code to visit here. You do need your shoulders and your knees covered.
the statistics on this museum is absolutely staggering. No wonder there's over 6 million visitors a year. Walking through the museum is a total of 4.6 miles. There are over 70,000 works of art. It was founded in the early 16th century and there was so much amazing art, it was a bit overwhelming. This is the gallery of the tapestries. Tapestries on the left depict scenes from the life of Christ and the ones on the right illustrate the life of Pope Urban VIII. The ones on the left were designed by the famous Renaissance painter Raphael Sanzio. He worked on these tapestries in the 1500s at the same time Michelangelo was working on the Sistine Chapel. I found it fascinating that these tapestries were woven with wool, silk, and gold and they were really beautiful. The gallery of maps, in my opinion, is the most stunning section of the museum. There are detailed maps of every region of Italy, an amazing detail that was painted in the 1500s, and the ceiling is pretty incredible too. You can also peek out of some of the windows and see gorgeous views of the gardens. The hallway then leads to the Sistine Chapel, in which no photos or video recordings were allowed in there. After the Sistine Chapel, we walked through more halls with more artifacts. Our tour guide told us that if we stopped to look at everything, it would take 16 years to get through the museum. We were a bit rushed through the end and this amazing spiral staircase leads to the exit. So the Pope was literally in St. Peter's Square, which I think is what it's called, so we could not go in today. We have wrapped up the museum, and it is absolutely crazy packed. There are more things you can see in there than you would ever have time to look at. It is a fascinating place. They don't report the schedule anymore. They keep that secret, so it's just a surprise. guided tour here you may want to get some clarifications about what exactly you're going to cover they rushed us through the Vatican gift shop and did not stop and they took us to a store outside here where they tried to get us to buy certain rosaries and things and told us they would be blessed and then we would get it back later and I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to buy something from actually from the Vatican Museum but just some things to ask before you get on a tour so you know what to expect and you aren't surprised. Thank you. 